My dear friends, today is the fourth Sunday after Easter. It's also the Feast of St. Boniface. There's also the third collect of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I'd like to wish all of our mothers a Blessed Mother's Day. This Mass is being offered up for your intentions. <clears throat> my dear friends, I would like to begin my sermon today with a poem from Father Ryan. Perhaps he was speaking on his own mother, I'm not certain. It starts with, often within our little cottage, as the shadows gently fall, while the sunlight touches softly one sweet face upon the wall. Do we gather close together and in hushed and tender tones, ask each other's full forgiveness for the wrongs that each has done? Should you wonder why this custom at the ending of the day, I in voice would quickly answer, it was once our mother's way. If our home be bright and cheery, if it holds a welcome true, opening wide its door of greeting to the many, not the few. If we share our Father's bounty with the needy day by day, tis because our hearts remember that was Mother's way. Sometimes when our hands grow weary, or our tasks seem too long, when our burdens look too heavy and we deem the right all wrong, then we gain a new fresh courage and we rise to proudly say, let us do our duty bravely. This was our dear mother's way. Then we keep her memory precious while we never cease to pray. Then at last, with lengthening shadows, mark the evening of our days. They may find us waiting calmly to go home our mother's way. Our Lord, my dear friends, first manifests his divinity at the marriage feast of Cana. God ordained matrimony and then motherhood and fatherhood. God pours out graces upon the spouses and sometimes gives them fruit. Some years ago, your parents approached the altar and they drank of its graces. Your mothers have perhaps for years or decades quietly suffered. Your fathers see in your mother not just what Scripture says, a helpmate, but they see in your mother a treasure. Your mothers and fathers have cooperated in the most elevated duty and privilege of spouses, the begetting of children. In begetting children, your mothers and fathers, by the Creator, are made almost as the supreme power by which God created Adam. And when God did create Adam, he felt great joy when he brought forth Adam from the dust. Mothers similarly feel the same joy as they bring forth men from the womb. Your mothers are privileged to impart to their children those first impressions of love and those first impressions of affection. These first impressions are invaluable. For they are the seeds of confidence, the seeds of security, the seeds of bonding, which is not so necessary for the proper and full spiritual, material, and physical development of a child. Your mothers have always been there for you. 
Whose warm embrace did you feel as an infant? You don't remember, but you know it was your mother's. Who gave you your first smile? Who gave you your first laughter? Perhaps weeks after your eyes first opened. Who kissed your scraped knee or elbow, finger or toe? Who filled the rumble in your stomach with applesauce and pureed peas? Who encouraged and even pushed on that first traumatic day of school, that first separation between mother and child, perhaps? Who was perhaps with dad our greatest support in our efforts for good grades? Who was our biggest fan at our games, whose cheers seemed to rise above all others? Who taught us our catechism? Who helped us to make our first Holy Communion? Who made for us those little vestments the boys put on when they were children to celebrate their first Mass at the dinner table? Who made us our habits? as we became self-proclaimed religious? Who gave us a love for the true Mass, for the saints, and for virtue? As you became young adults, who was your comfort when you first experienced broken friendships? Who guided you on your choice of a spouse? Encouraging high ideals and standards. Who is that diplomat giving sound advice in difficulties of marriage and careers? Who by example has taught you to live a Christian life, a worthy life? who perhaps has or will teach you how, how to die well? Who is in heaven praying for you? Perhaps your mother. If you have lost your mother, pray for her. If you have not, cherish and appreciate her. God love you and God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.